Today, we're going to talk fashion, and you're going to listen to fashion, but not old fashioned like what I'm wearing, avant garde new fashion. We're going to learn about one woman who revolutionized the fashion industry. Those of you familiar with the listening videos understand already the format. I'm going to say each paragraph two times and then give you the answers for each of the three paragraphs. Then at the end, I'm going to ask four comprehensive questions to make sure you've been listening, not just for the words that are missing in the paragraph, but also for the general understanding of the text. So let's get started. Paragraph number one. Gabrielle Chanel, commonly known as Coco Chanel, was a remarkable French fashion designer and businesswoman. For almost six decades, she was second to none in the Parisian haute couture, or expensive fashionable clothes. Her exceptional talent extended to many areas, including couture clothing, jewelry, and fragrance industries. Time magazine even listed Chanel among the 100 most influential people of the 20th century. Okay, the second reading, Gabrielle Chanel, commonly known as Coco Chanel, was a remarkable French fashion designer and businesswoman. For almost six decades, she was second to none in the Parisian haute couture, or expensive fashionable clothes. Her exceptional talent extended to many areas, including couture clothing, jewelry, and fragrance industries. Time magazine even listed Chanel among the 100 most influential people of the 20th century. Now, here are the answers. Gabrielle Chanel, commonly known as Coco Chanel, was a remarkable and outstanding and exemplary French fashion designer and businesswoman. For almost six decades, she was second to none. Second to none is a phrase which means there was no one better than her. In the Parisian haute couture or expensive fashionable clothes. Her exceptional, her outstanding, her unique talent extended to many areas, including couture clothing, jewelry, and fragrance industries. Jewelry is what we adorn our bodies with around the neck, on our ears, around our wrists or hands. Time magazine even listed Chanel among the 100 most influential people of the 20th century. Influential is someone who wields a lot of power. Now on to the second paragraph. Though born in poverty, Chanel earned her place in the sun after opening a small millinery shop in the French countryside. Her exquisite casual designs replaced the previously dominant corseted silhouette. By the late 1920s, Coco Chanel's business was estimated to have thousands of staff and huge profits, expanding on a couture house, a perfume laboratory, and a jewelry workshop. She revolutionized the fashion industry by introducing simplicity and comfort to women's attire. Here's the second reading. Though born in poverty, Chanel earned her place in the sun after opening a small millinery shop in the French countryside. Her exquisite casual designs replaced the previously dominant corseted silhouette. By the late 1920s, Coco Chanel's business was estimated to have thousands of staff and huge profits, expanding on a couture house, a perfume laboratory, and a jewelry workshop. She revolutionized the fashion industry by introducing simplicity and comfort to women's attire. All right, now let's check the answers, see how you did. Though born in poverty, Chanel earned her place in the sun after opening a small millinery shop in the French countryside. Poverty means you're very poor, without money. The countryside is the sort of opposite of the city life. So if you live in the country, you live outside the city. 
Her exquisite casual designs replace the previously dominant corseted silhouette. If something is dominant, it means it holds a superior position to the others. By the late 1920s, Coco Chanel's business was estimated to have thousands of staff and huge profits, expanding on a couture house, a perfume laboratory, and a jewelry workshop. Estimated means you make an, a guess as to how big the staff was. You don't know exactly, but you have a guess at it. You estimate. Profits are though is that money after expenses that you get to keep from your business. She revolutionized the fashion industry by introducing simplicity and comfort to women's attire. Simplicity is a noun and it comes from the word simple. If someone's simple, it's not elaborate. All right, let's turn to the third and final paragraph. I'll read it twice before giving you the answers. Her legendary innovations included a chic Chanel suit, a fabulous little black dress, and a world famous perfume, Chanel No. 5. The last of these became her signature scent and the first of its kind as it significantly differed from then prevalent perfumes. Chanel's everlasting legacy is powerful even nowadays as the brand's merchandise has been trendy for a long time. The second reading, her legendary innovations include a chic Chanel suit, a fabulous little black dress, and a world famous perfume, Chanel number no. five. The last of these became her signature scent and the first of its kind as it significantly differed from then prevalent perfumes. Chanel's everlasting legacy is powerful even nowadays as the brand's merchandise has been trendy for a long time. All right, now I'll read the answers. Her legendary innovations include a chic Chanel suit, a fabulous little black dress, and a world famous perfume Chanel number no. five. If something chic, it's very fashionable. The last of these became her signature scent. Scent means smell. And the first of its kind as it significantly differed from the then prevalent perfumes. Prevalent means that which is prevailing, that which is dominating or most popular. Chanel's everlasting legacy is powerful even nowadays, as the brand's merchandise has been trendy for a long time. Your legacy is that which you leave behind once you pass away. Now let's turn to the exercises. I'll give you about two or three seconds to answer the question. If you need longer time, then please press pause. Number one, as a businesswoman, Coco Chanel succeeded in couture clothing, perfumery, and cosmetics? The answer is true. All of these are mentioned in the text. Number two, she reached the heights of her career in the 1920s. This is also true. The text mentions that by the 1920s, her business was estimated to have thousands of employees and huge profits. What was not her innovation? A, a little black dress. B, a perfume called Chanel Chance. Or C, a Chanel suit. The answer is B, the perfume Chanel Chance. It's called Chanel number no. five. And finally, number four, what is the synonym for the word prevalent? Is it A, ubiquitous, B, unusual, or C, chic? The answer is A, ubiquitous. I hope you've enjoyed this listening video. Let me know in the comments below which of the words was most difficult. Maybe use it in a sentence so that you can improve your vocabulary. And I'll see you next week for the next listening video. And be sure to tell a friend about this listening series.